I can't play the pretty roles. I'll let Rob Patterson and David Booth do that. You know, they're beautiful. But what I can do is I can play the mate, the Mercutio. You know, the one that you go, I, he wasn't his biggest part, but God, I remember that guy. You know, or that there aren't any bad guys anymore in the acting industry. It seems like everyone's really nice. You know, and I, I want to play the guy that hurts you and does horrible things to you, and you go, this kid's so awesome. Or if you need a character that really needs someone to kind of jump into it, that's where I like to be. You know, really delve and get a bit weird. That's where I try and aim for. I I'm trying to hark back to the old actors, which is, you know, it's fuck the CGI. Sorry, can I say that? You know, fuck that. It's all about acting and, you know, characters really, you know, we look at these movies and we look at music back from the olden days and kind of go, why was this great? Why do we still listen to it? Because nothing's beat it. If, some, if Bob Dylan, if something had come out later than Bob Dylan that was better, we wouldn't listen to Bob Dylan, but it just hasn't. And you kind of look at the old films and like go, these are great movies. Why? Because nothing's better. And I kind of look at that and I think, this is what we need to come back to. You know, we can't do the glitz and glamour of America. We haven't got the money, we haven't got all of that. And when we try and do it, it looks crap. But when we do English film and we do, we do what we're good at, it's really good and it's fun and it shows why we were the best in the industry in the 50s, 60s, you know what I mean? And it's just gone awry because we're trying to copy something else that we can't do. So yeah. I got loads, but they're all Gary Oldman films. Gary, Ray, Tim, they're all, they're all you know, they kind of came out in the 80s and fucking smashed it and really showed us where we should be and what we should be doing and kind of, you know, and the way that they take, you know, acting, when you start talking about it like this, it's the most silly thing in the whole planet. It really is, because you kind of sit there going, well, I'm thinking about anger and this, well, really. But if someone, if you can go to the cinema and watch someone that you feel is describing what you would feel, you know when you watch a film and you go, I would never do that. Why are they running outside? They're gonna get killed. But the moment films start doing everything that you feel that you would do and it still goes wrong, that's when you feel like, oh my God, this is right. You know what I mean? And I feel actors can portray that, but it takes time. You know, I feel a lot of the time, we don't have months to rehearse things anymore. It's got to happen like that. You know what I mean? It's as quick as possible. And the things that we respect took months. It takes a lot of time of people figuring out things and kind of working it out and rehearsals and this and that, you know. It's, it's, substance or style over substance a lot of the time you know what I mean it's just get out there we knew, we know if we have two kids dressed like vampires who are having sex and it's a film about werewolves we're gonna sell lo we're gonna make millions it's good, guys we're gonna make loads of money is that and you know it'll be great and we'll you know it'll be big and but we won't remember it in five years you know but we remember true romance and stuff like that where you kind of get that's an awesome film or Leon you know you kind of look at these and Scum and some of those old films and go, and it leaves an imprint on what you're doing. With Now and I is definitely, as an actor, who kind of is very poor but comes from a middle class background, that means a lot to me. Because it is that, you know, it's that constant struggle. Not just with the business, but with alcoholism and this and that and trying to keep yourself sane, you know, and it means a lot. I don't know. I, you know, what doesn't kill you makes a stranger. And I need that strange shit in there. And that's why I play the weirdos. I don't play the normal guys, I play the ones, you know, the ones that want to hurt you and kind of do horrible things. But that's, you know, there are people like that and those are usually the funnest characters to watch. The ones that you kind of go, where is he coming? I don't understand it, but what is that? I feel that's good.